a really uh, good win for us. Um, road win, anytime you get it, obviously. Uh, Utah took a gut punch, you know, losing uh, Carlson before the game. But, uh, you know, I've, I've, as a coach, had those situations before and not being able to get it done. Our guys really had a good good way about them and uh, stayed the course and got a win. Uh, Jamie Vinnick, go ahead. Peace, Coach. Uh, nice of you to join us. No, I'm sorry. I had, Ben's got to get more aggressive with me. Oh, I'm just giving you a hard time. Uh, first off, congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, you know, they, they make that push. You guys are up 19. It gets to nine. Um, you know, I think for a lot of fans, probably that uh, that kind of bad feeling. Um, but you guys don't let that happen. Noah comes up with a bucket. You, you kind of uh, just keep them at bay the rest of the way. How crucial do you think that is going forward? Uh, it's, it's big. We, you, uh, I felt a little anxiety, too. I actually, it was pretty calm over there. But it just, you know, there is that, oh, no, here we go again, feeling like when, when Andre turned it over against Press and they hit a three, it's like, ah, we, we got to do better there. Um, but uh, we, we hung in there. We had some good possessions where we missed some shots that, uh, you know, they're like, oh, I hope that goes in. Instead, I hope we got to, you know, don't my, my dad always told me, told me, don't ever wish it in. But that's on, that's in golf. <laughs> you got you to gotta make sure it goes in. Speaking of Andre, I mean, he comes up with one, two, three critical, critical offensive rebounds on top of hitting threes. I mean, just his growth. I mean, really the three of the last four games, not counting Colorado, because as he said, he was just getting back from COVID. But it, it seems he has really taken a big jump the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm really excited. We couldn't be happier for a guy that uh, cares so much about um, everyone, the team, his teammates, and just being a good player, he really invests in it, and he's such a good person. And uh, yeah, I know in Colorado, he was. I think we got two practices in before Colorado. There's only, uh, you know, Noah got one in the, since December 22nd, so no excuse. So you, one thing we really saw in the first half, I think they took it away a little second, was that a really a, a, a really an investment into the pick and roll offense, and it worked a lot. I mean, Mo was getting open and then guys were hitting three. Has that been an emphasis lately to really try and incorporate that into your offense? Uh, you know what, Mike's Mike's really good in those pick and roll situations and tie. I think it's just uh, the evolution of playing together, getting comfortable. Um, uh, we, we simplified some things offensively and also get Andre made some good, nice passes too in there. Uh, so we were able to, against them, we were able to spread the floor a little more and, and found found those guys on the roll. You get Noah back, and, you know, he comes in, he does what Noah does, takes a charge, uh, makes a basket, and and lets uh, whoever, I think it was Jenkins, know, um, draws the flagrant foul, goes plus 25. It just, you know, Noah Williams in a nutshell tonight. Uh, yeah, it was amazing because, like I said, he had one practice since December 22nd. And uh, really, the staff goes, are we playing him tonight? I said, Probably. <laughs> I, just, I said, and I try, you know, and Jeff did a good job. I, I it stinks because I thought he'd get some more opportunities and, and it's tough being on the road and that. And he got in there and he gave us some good ball pressure. And then Noah got in there. I just had to see where he's at. And he, he's a good matchup for Garden Gotch. And, and then uh, he obviously is important to us. And then just last thing, you know, we, the last two games, really, we, we saw Ty not just, you know, hit threes, but, you know, he really attacked the rim. Have you guys been trying to kind of tell him that, hey, you're quicker than just about every guy on the floor, <laughs> you know, go to the rim? Because I think he had, you know, six twos against Colorado, had one tonight, and just beat guys off the dribble. He's a good player. Yeah, same thing. I, he, he hadn't played in a year, uh, got really sick. And, you know, and I, and I pointed out to him, he's, I think he's our biggest plus minus guy in the season. I said, look, I told him, I said, and he's like, he was really stressed and wasn't shooting the ball well enough. I said, look, you're way too hard on yourself. We're good when you're in there. When you make shots, we blow people out. That, that, those are kind of, those are opportunities you have. So he's getting comfortable. He puts a lot of pressure on the defense and, and uh, hopefully just keeps getting better. All right. Sorry. One more thing. Just kind of, you mentioned he puts a lot of pressure on himself in that way. You know, I remember you talking about Isaac a, a lot that way last year, as you know, Isaac would miss some shots and he put pressure. Do you kind of feel like there's some similarities in that and that, you know, you you have to talk these guys kind of out of out of their own heads at times. Uh, yeah, of course. I like someone asked me what's my most important job as a therapist. So <laughs> there's definitely some to it, but not they're different. They're wired differently. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I know. I think uh, they're both secret. They're both pleasers, to be honest. And when they they really do feel like you, they're letting others down when they don't do those things. They're kind of perfectionists, and uh, 
and that's you know no one remind him that no one's perfect and let him know that they're doing okay and he's got a great attitude he works at it and excited for him thanks coach Medella time hey, Colton yeah. Clark go ahead hey coach so uh you know I'm just looking at Utah's numbers that uh, you know they entered number two three-point shooting team in the conference behind you guys uh just kind of how crucial was your uh, perimeter defense tonight? I mean, they didn't have a good start at all there. No, it was great. I thought, uh, you know, obviously they missed the centerpiece of their offense, but we were determined not to give up too many threes. And uh, we did a good job defending the three. And and their bigs hurt us early. And then um, they had to go small when they got down. And we still persevered. And actually our zone for the first time this year, I felt like was very impactful and kind of really helped us salt that thing away. Hey, Colton, sorry, do, we got time for one more, so make it good, even if it's a two-parter. My bad. Just kind of on the, the the pick and rolls in the first half offense, and, you know, Mike and Muhammad, uh, less production in the second half. What, what kind of changed in the second half to maybe take you guys away from that approach a little bit? You know what? It wasn't us. Uh, Utah changed their ball screen coverage, and they, they started showing harder and blitzing us a little bit. And uh, We got some good looks at three, but we didn't get the – they really covered up the roller.